the moon is bright. So you know that one too, huh? <laughs> of course. Everyone knows about werewolves. <laughs> Okay, everybody, there I was just showing you guys uh, some video on my 1954 Philco television. I just got done restoring this television, and I just want to show you guys a video of it. I do a lot of stuff. Not only video. Video is just part of the work I do. I do a lot of restorations on vintage electronics, uh, 1940s radios, televisions, you name it. Anything that's vintage. It's not a problem for me. I pretty much got, you know, know all there is to, to know about doing this kind of stuff. But I just want to do a little walkthrough and show you something. This television set had, had to be completely restored. So let me do some zoom-ins to show you a few samples of some of the things you got to do on a television like this. Okay, as you can see, uh, this television is uh, the chassis for this TV set goes in sideways. Now, anybody attempting to work on vintage televisions, you really got to know what the heck you know what you're doing. Vintage televisions takes a lot of skill, a lot of know-how, and you got to know exactly what you got to replace. You got to know how to set them up. You got to know how to read a schematic and various other things. But as you can see, all right, all the tubes in this TV set are brand new. See this? All these tubes, they're all replaced. Also, as you can see, I use nothing but very high quality capacitors. See these yellow jobs? All those yellow capacitors are replacements to the original spray capacitors that used to be in this TV. Spray capacitors, in my opinion, were pure junk. So I replaced them with high quality Mylar tube wrapped capacitors. And you can see those are what those yellow uh, capacitors are. And I don't know if you can actually tell, but inside there's a uh, Got mylar capacitors which are which are parallel from each other. They are like orange looking things. I don't know if you can see those way back there. This TV set is on. I don't want to stick my fingers in this thing because it does you can get a really high electrical shock if you don't know what you're doing. So be very careful when you're working on vintage TVs. Alright, but as you can see, as I go around with my camera, I hooked up a coaxial cable. See this? This coaxial cable I replaced to the flat cable on this TV set. So I'd be able to watch DVDs or whatever through this TV set and hook it up to an RF converter to be able to actually watch something on channel 3 on these TV sets. You don't want to really use televisions of black and white that are this old for uh, like cable cast or anything like that. It really defeats the purpose. It's, for, it's basically you build TV sets like this for watching the universal classic horror movies, Frankenstein, Dracula, The Mummy. This is how you were supposed to watch TVs, these, these type of movies back then, so it's good to relive your memories of a television like this. This is how black and white movies should have been watched in the first place back when they first came out. Okay, all right, instead of just re, you know repairing the chassis on this TV set, I also replaced the picture tube. As you can see, this is a brand new rebuilt picture tube, all right? and of course the coil and the plug. I didn't have to do anything to this thing. All I had to do is replace the picture tube and recap the set, put brand new electronics in this chassis, and uh, for you know it, no problem at all setting it up and, and I actually finished it out my, my own way. But this is all you really need to do. It's pretty simple. But like I said, it's a really nice TV to work on. This is a 1954 Philco and you can do it too if you want to get into re restoring vintage televisions.